Hello, Mary C. Williams friends. This is Miss Britt here, and I wanted to teach you how to generate, generate equivalent fractions. So, to generate means to make. I want to show you how to make equivalent fractions. Our standard is NF1, and our objective today is going to be to use multiplication to generate equivalent fractions. So we're using multiplication today. All right, so let's walk through this first part and I'm gonna show you how to do it with problems one and two and then your job is to do problems three and four. Choose a whole number like two. So we're gonna write an equivalent fraction for four fifths. They're telling you to choose a whole number like two, any whole number. You can choose two, you can choose three or four or five or six, any whole number. Create a fraction using two as the numerator and the denominator. So it wants to have two on top and two on the bottom. Well, in case you did not know this, anytime the numerator and the denominator are the same number, the fraction is equal to one. So when you have a two on the top and a two on the bottom, then this fraction equals one. And as it says here, this fraction is equal to one. You can multiply a number by one without changing the value of a number. And you know that already. You know that any number times one is equal to itself. That is something that you already know. For instance, two times one is two. You know that because any number times one is itself. 18 times one is 18. 2,345 times one is 2,345. So what you're doing here is you are creating a fraction that has a numerator and a denominator that are the same because when you do that, you are making a fraction that equals one. Okay. So then, after you choose a number, any number you want, and then you make it into the same numerator and the same denominator, you are then going to multiply your fraction by that fraction of one that you just made. So you would be taking this and you would be saying four-fifths times two halves. And you would say four times two and five times two. Four times two is eight and five times two is 10. When you do it like this, you are creating an equivalent fraction. Four fifths and eight tenths are equivalent or equal to one another. Now, this is a relationship. You are finding the relationship between these two numbers, four fifths and eight tenths. Four times what number gives you eight and five times what number gives you 10? Right, we just did it. Four times two and five times two. The relationship is times two. Four fifths is equivalent to eight tenths because four fifths times two is the same thing as eight tenths. All right, let's try it with another one. Write another equivalent fraction for four fifths. Choose a different whole number like 20. You could have chosen any whole number, but in this case, they chose 20. Create a fraction using 20 as the numerator and denominator. So 20 
over 20 or 20 twentieths is equivalent to one whole because when your numerator and denominator are the same, then the fraction is going to equal one whole. Multiply four fifths by 20 twentieths. Four times 20, so do the top. Four times 20 is 80 because four times two is eight. Bring over your zero. Five times 20, five times two is 10. Bring over your zero, 100. So four fifths and 80 one hundredths are equivalent. Well, same thing. Four fifths equals 80 hundredths because four times 20 gives me 80 and five times 20 gives me 100. There's a relationship. The relationship is you multiply by 20. You take four fifths, you multiply it by 20, and you get 80 hundredths. All right, now we're going to do this one. Two six. It does not matter what whole number you use. I'm going to use three. Two six, and it wants two equivalent fractions. Two six times, I'm going to do three. Three thirds equals two times three over six times three. Two times three is six. Six times three is 18. Well, let's see. Two times three, six, yes. Six times three is 18, so that means two six is equivalent to six eighteenths. Do a second one. Okay, so let's make our second equivalent fraction. So we're gonna take the same fraction that we started with, two sixths, and this time we're gonna multiply it by another whole number. So I'm just gonna go in line. I'm gonna to go to four now. Let's do four. I have to make this equal to one whole, so four fourths equals one whole. When my numerator and denominator are the same, it equals one whole. This looks like two times four, over six times four, which equals two times four is eight, six times four is 24. So that means two six equals the same thing as eight 24 Two six equals the same thing as eight 24 All right, moving right along. Same thing, we are going to generate or make an equivalent fraction by picking whole numbers and multiplying. So four tenths, four tenths times, I'm gonna go in line, I'm gonna go with five this time, five fifths. It looks like four times five over 10 times five which equals four times five is 20. 10 times five is 50. So four tenths equals the same thing as 20 fiftieths. You gotta make a second one. Start with the same fraction that you began with. So go back to four tenths and pick a new number to multiply by. I'm gonna go with six. Six sixths. Remember, the numerator and denominator have to be the same because when they are, it equals one and it's just like multiplying by one. Four tenths times six sixths is four times six over 10 times six, which equals Four times six is 24. 10 times six is 60. So four tenths is also equivalent to 24 
sixtieths. All right, my friends, your job is to complete problems three and four today. So problem number three says three eighths and problem number four says four fifths. You have to show us the relationship, like what it is that you're multiplying by. What are you multiplying by? And we need to see your work. We need to see that you know how to set it up. So your problem should look like mine and then have your final answers where you have four tenths equals 20 fiftieths, four tenths equals 24 sixtieths, and just show us all of your work. You can take a picture and send it to us on Class Dojo or upload it on Google Classroom. Completely up to you. Um, just make sure you turn it in. Thank you.